Hey kid, wanna pet my dog? That's not a euphemism. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Gungeon with me Flick. We're gonna play as the Hunter today and I was just double checking we need to kill three more Gunzuki to finish the Frightful Challenge. So that should happen in this run. Unless I die on the first floor. But if that happens, it's gonna be under 15 minutes so there'll be another run. So what I'm saying is it's almost definitely happening unless for some reason we bizarrely get very, very unlucky with Gunzuki spawns on floor two onwards. I'm pretty sure there is no variation of a floor one floor room, rather. Oh my, I've gone cross-eyed. That have Gunzukis in them. Could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain there isn't. And by now, you will have seen that we did some more races with L. And I have I regret not putting the the live streamed Gungeon play just as episodes in this series. I'm doing that for Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth now. And I do regret it because I think the races are fun and they're a nice, like the Inside Baseball episodes, they're a nice break from just a normal Gungeon run. It, it breaks up the monotony that can set in. Sadly, there's too many Gungeon streams now in just the general live stream playlist where I put all the miscellaneous stuff. It, it's too late to go back, essentially, for Gungeon. It might change once the supply updates out, actually. The reason I mentioned it is because we, we did another race, I can't remember who we were playing as, it might have been the Hunter. But it was a fun race where we use a, I keep calling it a race, it's not really a race, it's a point attack type thing. And we kind of redefined the rules a little bit to balance from the first time we did them because I just happened to get very lucky with getting a couple of red chests and it made my runs very easy when we did those last score attacks. So the way we did it was, kill the boss of a floor, you get a point, follow the boss, you get a point, you use a key to open a brown chest, you get a point. Open a red chest, you lose a point. Open a black chest, you lose two points. And if you die before killing dragon, you lose two points. And the reason that's worded that way is because if you go down to hell, you could potentially get a bonus point or two for killing and or flawlessing the lich, but you don't get the negative. And that's to kind of balance things out because it can be as ra it is random how many brown quality chests appear on a floor. No secret room, I don't think. I don't think that's secret room. No. Uh, we'll just open it. Oh, very good. So we have our space friend who is uh, orbiting a little ship that shoots things. I can't remember if he's the one who fires a laser or a rocket. I think the laser, because the rocket one is a higher quality chest. I'm not sure, but that means whatever quality the other chest on the floor is, it's a gun. So we want it. Uh, but to go back to what I was briefly saying, we only had time to do the one race, but then L had this idea for another... Oh, it is the laser one. For another type of run to do, where we played as the bullet, and no matter what happened, or what we found, or what we got, we had to only use the sword for the run to see how far we could get. And it was just a... it wasn't really a, a point attack or anything like that, it was just... How far can you get as the bullet, only using the sword, even if you lose full health and have to just use close range attacks. And it was really fun. We both did well. So I'm just pointing that out. That would be in the... If you go to the live stream playlist, it would be the VOD for... Oh god, hang on. Like the 24th of December? Maybe? Around about there. Definitely. There will be the only time we played Gungeon around that date. So it should be easy to find with just that much information. But yeah, it's a, it was a live stream of Gungeon worth watching. It was fun. We did some interesting runs. Neither of us have the Supply Drop Beta installed, though, as we're pointing out. You will be seeing this into January. But I imagine it'll be towards the middle slash tail end of the month that they'll actually get it out of the beta build. Which is fine. I'm, I'm trying to record not as many runs of Gungeon at the moment as a result because I want to kind of get straight into the Supply Drop update when it's out. Oh, thank you, dog. The rat can have that, I guess. The first time it does come out of beta, I might end up live streaming, which is also why I'm mentioning possibly don't want that just yet. I know there's the item room right here, but we need to find the shop first. So it's a brown quality gun. The brown quality guns can potentially... Why am I shooting this gun at walls that doesn't find secret rooms? The brown quality gun can be good. I was discussing this in the comments of an episode that went live recently, actually. The sling, for whatever reason, is in brown chests. And it can carry you through every boss on every floor. Not from a survivability point of view, but from a damage point of view, it's fine. 
I imagine the shop will be one room away up here because the first floor is never that big, really. Yeah, it looks really small, actually. Good job. So, you... Oh, now that is interesting. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford it. I'm going to wait in case we get a gold shell from the boss and we're about to get a gun from here anyway. So, I don't need Smiley... Well, we can't afford Smiley's revolver, but if I could... It's a, that would be a fun gun to have. T-shirt cannon. I guess we'll be killing the first boss with T-shirt cannon then. That's not amazing. And it's Catling Gill, so it's not too bad. In the arena where he's actually very easy. I don't know how it's going to be going between Anti-Birth and this more frequently now. They require different levels or, or a different set of skills. Yes, you have to dodge in both of them, but dodging in Gungeon and dodging in Isaac are two very different things. Isaac feels sluggish after playing Gungeon. Gungeon's base speed for all the characters is much faster than, say, like, base Isaac speed. Enemies' bullets in Gungeon are also a lot faster as well. So in some ways, going back to Antibirth, I'm not as rusty as I would have been had I not been playing Gungeon, because Gungeon is kind of like, it's a faster paced game. So it's like, that's fine. All this time playing Gungeon, it means I can handle just jumping back into Isaac and it's slower general speed. Unless you play the Turbo Challenge, of course, in Antibirth, which is another story altogether. That's the game at three times speed, which you will have seen me do by now. I think it was three times speed. It definitely seemed faster than two times speed. Maybe even four times speed. And that was it's fa that was faster than Gungeon, but I feel like Gungeon prepped me for that. I wasn't sure if that was going to get around the corner, and it did. All right, we got our flaws. Took a little while because you know T-shirt cannon isn't exactly damaging. It's more a room clear, but we did get ammo back, so that's fine. We got a key. Uh, we did not get enough for Smiley's revolver. We got a good weapon though. That's our boss weapon now. So we're not getting Smiley's revolver. There's no one I can sell to. That's such a shame. We were, if we were playing as the pilot, I would have been able to get it as well. That's the annoying thing. Hmm. We'll buy the key. Uh, I'll buy the armor while it's cheap as well. I, I don't know. I just I feel like I need it. Remember I said that. And if by the end of the run it turns out I did need that one extra hit. You tell me, because I'll forget. We don't need the red heart. I was debating looking for the secret room. I guess I can check this last room here. I didn't want to waste the spare blank I had, because I might as well save it for the next floor, unless we absolutely find it for sure. Yeah, we'll just go down. It's fine. Oh, Super Space Friend doesn't get to come with us. Also, I think he is just called Space Friend, but force of habit, I call everything Super, and then their name as a result of Super Space Turtle, because he is amazing. Let's use the crossbow. Teacher Cannon is on par in terms of like how easy it makes it to clear floor two. But the crossbow fires slower and we're less accurate, so that's why I'm using this. Having half heart is good. This is a run where, you know, if we flawless this floor as well and we happen to see cigarettes in the shop, I could definitely see us doing a cigarette run. We have the dog to find more HP as well when it kicks in. And of course we have our helper friend here. Was that the one that unlocked from doing the pilot's past or was that the, the, uh, the one that fires the rocket? I think it was the one that fires the rocket that came from that. This is possibly just unlocked from the start. It's been a while now, I can't remember what the unlock conditions are for most things or where. She really just concerned herself with the new unlock things, which is also why I'm kind of eager to get through the Frifle challenges, because the supply drop update might add more. I wouldn't be surprised. I would expect the shops to get new inventory over Frifle having more challenges. Like, I could see Frifle getting one challenge for the, the like Cthulhu enemy type that they're adding. I could see that, but I hope the shops just get a bit more inventory as well, because then that means I can actually use all these credits I've stored up and I'm never going to use. Oh, this ship knocked him into the abyss. Take that, veteran. You're not living to Memorial Day. I don't know if that was just luck or the dog. And the animation just didn't play, but that's good. And, oh, we want. We so badly want. That makes us do more damage on bosses. 
The backpack is good too, but this is top tier. It's worth potentially not getting a key. Not just because we're about to have three keys. This now has the potential to ball out of control from a boss killing perspective. Rooms could still screw us over if we run out of ammo and we're down to our starting pistol eventually. But Galactic Service Medal. Actually, is that the one where it doesn't just count bosses, it's like quote unquote champions? So like all the bigger enemies as well? Can't quite remember. I might be confusing that with the description for Sling, now that we've been talking about that as well. No sniper bad sniping. No ramble bad rambling. Oops. Alright. I think this will probably lead to an item room. Oh, hey. It actually led to both, technically. Oh, wait, no. I don't think this is an item room. That's a clearing room. We have more than enough keys, so we'll open it. Alright, it's a cursed item, but we will take it. The Huntsman, I don't get it as often as I used to. I think as a result of increasing the drop pool size. It was just a puzzle room. It's a... I don't think it's a one level curse item either. I think it's more than one level. That's fine. It does damage, I think, rather than block bullets when you reload, because it does the slash thing. And it's an okay shotgun. Maybe even better than okay. I don't quite understand why it's cursed. Is it just because it's in the potential inventory for the vampire lady? The Huntsman was the good guy in Red Riding Hood. There we go, I remember where it was from eventually. Although that feels like one of those movies where if it's ever been remade, they probably made it more ambiguous. So like maybe the Huntsman was an accidental hero or a villain who just happened to do the right thing. Well, those two things are the same thing. I just I described an accidental hero in two different ways. You can't snipe at that range. That's point blank. He missed, so that probably means he made Sanzo. Oh, they are going to be a problem with the crossbow. We'll probably have to change their starting pistol. So for now, that was actually a very good accidental shot there. <laughs> the slime blocked them. All right. No point wasting crossbow bolts on these things. So to go back to, I think I mentioned this maybe even during the live stream. So maybe it wasn't in a recorded episode. But I've been getting a lot more requests recently about like doing a tip video for Gungeon. Because a lot of people bought it in the Christmas sale. It was on offer for a very good price. So was Isaac, as well. I'm getting a lot of comments saying, this looks a lot easier when you're playing it. I can't give us the first floor or second floor. Can you give me tips? There's a there's an obvious problem with that. I can't tell you how to be better at dodging. It's purely muscle memory. I'm not doing anything different from what you could be doing. So I appreciate that you want to hear my advice for playing Gungeon, but honestly, it's just once you know how the enemies attack, you know when to dodge roll and when not to... Oh, hello. Does that mean you always do the right thing and you always dodge perfectly? Hell no. But you learn the enemy's attacks. Like, once the supply drop update comes out and it's got that new boss and new enemy type, I'm going to suck at them at first. It's going to be hard because I won't know their patterns. Case in point, really, go back to the episode where I finally ran into Doorlord again. I didn't know any of his patterns and he kicked my ass. I managed to kill him only because I had enough HP to live. I, he hit me tons. I presumably actually still have to follow him to get some kind of unlock, so that's going to be a hell, given how infrequently he shows up. But also as a result of people buying Gungeon in the sale, they've also gone back to the start of this series, so they've seen it when I was bad at it as well. Like, I, I struggled to get to floor 2. But I can't offer any advice on dodging, really. It's just, especially for the bosses, I think the bosses are mostly the thing people have problems with. It's purely just learn their attacks. Good quality chest, that's good. The dog isn't barking. There's our secret room with a brown quality chest. Is that a mimic? No. We'll open that in a second. That is slower enemy bullets. That's really good. Yeah, wow. We're getting very lucky with passives, which is rare. And okay, we've got a key back. That's fine. Was that worth a bonus blank? Yes. Without a doubt. Let's go buy Galactic Service Medal. And then go do the boss. 
Courage increased. I want to double check. Is that the one that's bosses or bosses and tough enemies? Powerful foes. Yeah, powerful foes, it could just be wordy and actually just mean bosses, but I choose to believe that that doesn't mean just bosses, and it also means, like, the, the tougher big enemies, like gun knights and the screaming faces or whatever, you know? That's good. And how much money we got left over? 18. That is not going to be enough for backpack. Not be enough for anything unless we have to get quite a lot of shells from the boss. All right, stinger it is. Let's do it. The gorgon should not be that much of a problem. And the nice thing about this particular gun is, or rocket launcher, is even if I miss, it still does damage because the bees will get her. And this also makes a mockery out of our most annoying attack. Wow, look, I didn't realise she was even below half health. My god. It's the bees doing constant ticks of damage. They must be getting the bonus from the medal as well. That was exceptionally easy. We only used 20 of our ammunition as well. Oh, smoke bombs. Not good, but hey, we have a... I can't remember what this does. It makes you invisible, but what does that do? Oh, it probably means you can steal. Hmm, do I want to steal backpack for one more level of curse? I don't think that's worth it given we already have some curse. Maybe. I think I could just leave and the credits come to me, right? Yeah. We are done this floor. We got the secret room. There's a half heart we can't use. We did not get enough money. Actually, no, hang on. Maybe we did get enough money to buy a key. I'll buy a key legit. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I guess the smoke bombs you can use to steal stuff. I don't think it's worth the curse stealing a backpack. Backpack, if I'm right, is just two actives, right? Well, either way, too late now to decide one way or the other. Why does it feel like I'm firing faster? I'm definitely firing faster, or is that just because I didn't realize you could actually quickly press the fire button to make the crossbow reload faster? Why am I only learning this now? Yeah, that absolutely is. If you press fire while it's reloading, it instantly reloads. Is that a glitch? That makes the crossbow passable on later floors. Get in the pit. Also, I was right next to that explosive there. I'm kind of sad the crossbow's going to run out of ammo now. Yeah, it's firing like twice as fast if you do that, if you're willing to left click more often. Oh hey, Gunzuki. And then uh one that doesn't count. So we're still we're too shy now. That should happen still. Oh we have one crossbow bolt, sure, take that. Uh t-shirts for everyone. Presumably if I use it in a room. Hell let's test. I, I did nothing if I used it in a room. I I think because I was firing as I shot it. t-shirts for all. I'd love the pox cannon compared to this, but I'll make do. Pox cannon is just a straight up better version of this. How many t-shirts do you want before you'll die? We do have a special room on our left here. The blank statue. Okay, so if we get through the floor with blanks, we can try for chests. Low priority, because it's usually like a brown or a blue quality chest, I think. Still potentially nice. And T-shirt cannon is not going to last beyond this floor. That was very lucky. What do we have for an option after that? Oh, we have the, the Huntsman. I'd rather not have to use it early, though. Should lead to our own room, yes it does. I was gonna say there has to be a second wave. It was just one veteran shotgun guy. That's a full heart on the floor now, right? No wait, no, the half heart was on the last floor. Never mind. 
Our first chest of floor three is a green quality chest. The dog ain't barking at it, so it's not a mimic. Um, isn't that what we already have? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I think it's supposed to be a syringe. It doesn't look like that to me. Chance to improve healing received, so half hearts might be worth full hearts, basically. A good passive. In fact, in general, this run has been good passives. It's been subpar guns, apart from the stinger. But really good passives. Super Space Friend, ooh, is complimenting it. I don't think I can get out of there. I, if I, unless I want a blank. No, no. Using a blank outside the boss is a bad idea. Nyeh. 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 If you're going to get hit, there's a bit of genuine advice. If you're going to get hit on a normal room and it's not going to kill you, or put you in a situation where it's very easy to die, don't waste a blank. Save the blanks for the bosses, for secret rooms, for blank statues, basically anything other than avoiding damage in a standard room, unless you're sitting on like five blanks and it's not going to matter. Yes, even the little slimes get little t-shirts. Oh, there's a mushroom. Oh, and he's being buffed. That's not good. Where's he being buffed from? Hello, my friend. T-shirts for you. Also, two more Gunzukis, please. So that even if this run does somehow go bad in the later stages, I can still get something unlocked. Oh yes, you're rather large, so you need lots of T-shirts. He went down to another form very quickly, considering I'm using the T-shirt cannon, so I think that is that passive helping. It's Huntsman or Starting Pistol. I'm opting to be Starting Pistol. Shop sir, can't get him from this side. Because I might need to be using the Huntsman on the next floor and it doesn't have a lot of ammo because it's a shotgun. Oh, I think that was my first bit of damage and it was from a beam that I didn't see coming. You just burn yourself over there. Basically, let Super Space Friend handle it. Oh, another wave. We want rid of you nice and quick. That's like quite a lot of enemies for our. Well, it is a large room, but not as big as some rooms that have less enemies. I just realised maybe Super Space Friend firing takes me out of invisibility as well. Yeah, that's a little shop. But the reason I want to find the shop sharpish is in case it's got a gun for a reasonable price or a gun muncher or, you know, the seller. Any of those things would be very helpful. Oh, Super Space Friend, you're trying to shoot him through the wall. That won't do. You don't have wall hacks. Do you? If you do, you've got to tell me. Yes, run towards me. <laughs> you fool! Ooh, ammo, perfect. Um, oh, crossbow or t-shirt cannon. Damn, that's a, that's a tricky one. T-shirt cannon. Just for the more ammo, more so than more damage. Wind-up gun. Oh, if I get desperate enough, maybe. We still have another chest to find, right? And the chest is a gun because we had antibody. We can't afford the key. It's possible we'll be able to afford wind-up gun and the key. It's just that, you know, wind-up gun is fine. Ah. Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. All right, I'm going to have to think on gun game as well. Oh, for goodness sake! Okay, well, if we buy this, it carries a curse, but then we never need another key. That said, it carries a curse. Hmm. We never need another key. Ever. We don't need to buy a key, so that removes the need. Yeah, we're doing that. We're probably at, like, five curse now. 
So that means we can very safely afford the wind-up gun and still play gun game by the end of the floor, because I don't think you had anything else I would even remotely want, right? Also, I didn't know you had a cat. Is that a reference to Splunky there? We'll buy wind-up gun. Will we use a wind-up gun? No, we'll still use T-shirt cannon for this floor. Gun game will be what on this floor? 30? We should be able to get that. We still have another item room to find. Still have a boss to find. Also, there's no teleporters at the top right of the map at all. Yes, I could have stolen Wind Up Gun, but worrying a little bit about Curse now. I'm going to assume that Huntsman is 3 and the key is potentially 2. Oh. Hmm. So, I wouldn't be surprised if we were at 5 Curse. Maybe 4. If they're both worth 2. Slower enemy bullets is helping with having to dodge so many goddamn shotgun guys. We want to do a full clear of this floor anyway because it's our best chance at Gunzukis. They do appear on layer floors but it's more likely to be the the pinkish ones that don't count. The one room that I always say, hey look, it wouldn't be a floor 3 without getting this room. That always has at least one Gunzuki on it and of course we haven't found it this time. That's fine. There's still time, potentially. Or not. Not a mimic. Oh, if only I could have had Smiley's revolver, we would have just had a massive ammo up for all guns. It's good. It's not as good as if we had the other one as well. And we're up to the boss, actually, so maybe gun game will not be an option. No more rooms? No. Alright, same song and dance. Stinger. Against Cannon Balrog. Slower enemy bullets on Cannon Balrog is also a massive help. Uh, I don't know where that fire came from. I guess there was oil on the floor. I was kind of hoping... Oh, dodge rolling drops you out of the cloak. I see. I was kind of hoping if I was cloaked, he'd be like, where's my enemy gone? I guess I'll just not fire then. But no. Oh, he's below half health again already. Bloody hell, that passive is amazing. The Stinger is good in general as well, but plus that passive, it's ridiculous. Unfortunately, I'm going to need ammo for it now. Looks like he dropped... Oh, there's ammo right there. Ooh, that's what of cash. That's for doing the Convicts Pass, and I think it's just like a crap ton of shells, right? It is, yes. Bouquet's full of cash. It's just avarice. All right. It's a shame that we're so late in the game and I could have been saving keys because now I could maybe potentially get to what elevator man needs. In fact, did the shop sell a key? Because if so, I'll just buy it. Yeah. I don't think this late in this, the game we're going to get to the, what, is six keys he needs and like 350 shells. The shells are actually now more than doable. And I guess we'll use t-shirt cannon on the next floor first. But I guess if I keep on going, not getting hit very much... Oh, blank statue, blank statue, blank statue. I remembered. Sorry, I was getting caught up in the moment there because getting Avarice is very, very lucky. Ammo synthesizer is fine. Alright, did get lucky again. We could play gun game, but now that I'm like in it to win it I guess I want to just sit on my cash so no we will not be doing gun game we're going to hold on to our money and just hope that we get enough keys I also hope that that passive we bought for like unlimited keys kicks in over having any in your inventory I would assume it does because otherwise it's pointless having it but I guess we'll see no no summoning bad summoner Teaser Cannon is obviously falling way behind the damage curve now. So is most of our standard guns. We only really have a fantastic boss option. Other than that, we're working with okay stuff at best. But it's still going well. We only got one Gunzuki that entire floor three though, and that's annoying. They can still appear on this floor if they do. It's it can also be the pink ones though. They seem to be firing faster. They should be firing slower. That's not how this works. 
Unless the sound effect was just playing more often because of the slower bullet speed. But anyway. We have so much money that I am able to buy keys in the shop and still potentially get to the money Elevator Man requires, I think. As long as I don't spend it on anything frivolous. So it's a shame we got Avarice so late. If we got it like floor one, I'd be able to plan ahead. And we've had tons of keys. So it's not a mimic because the dog ain't barking. Yeah. Oh, Super Space Turtle! By their powers combined, we are unkillable. I like to think that that's actually his spaceship. Yeah, th this is an amazing run for passives. A subpar run for most guns, but passives are just among the best you can ever hope to get outside of the ones that are super expensive only appear in shops like Gundromeda Strain. Although if it was up here we could buy it, but now I'd like to just try and hoard <laughs> for the minuscule chance we could actually just suddenly do Elevator Man. But of course now that I actually have that in mind we won't get as many keys as we've been getting because we've been getting a lot of keys. Or maybe the game will think, hey, you've got unlimited keys, so wouldn't it be funny if we gave you crap tons of them now? If I wasn't aiming for collecting all the keys, I would have gone back to the key seller and bought the Mimic Friendship one. Just because. It was it was something to do with the keys, because now they weren't required. Damn it. Alright, that's the second bit of damage I've taken the whole run, and we're on floor four, so that's not bad. Technically, not taking any damage if you don't count armor. That was unavoidable though, I just mis misjudged his speed. Zombies! They only need one t-shirt. Space Turtle, you've got this! You've got- I'm gonna stop and take a drink. Hmm. Much needed for my sore throat, thank you. Get in there, Space Turtle. I want a synergy between these two passives where the turtle will ride the spaceship and it does two times damage. What do you mean it's OP? <laughs> you know how rare it is to get passives in Gungeon? And good ones at that? Oh, you've got a goal. How many t-shirts does it take to murder you? There we go. You know, I think Super Space Turtle actually counts as a target as well because it looks like the, the summoning, you know, the guy with the turban. It summoned it on him rather than me. I don't like the look of that room at all. I, I know the game is going to force me to do it. But let's try down here first anyway, as we run out of t-shirts. Oh, you're still alive. That's close. Slow bullets save me again, I think. Alright, we need to use the oh, wind up gun, I guess. Get away from me. I don't have a speed up. You're not allowed. Pop goes the weasel. Face melter. Nope. Ghost bullets. Nope. We'll buy the key. Because we are hoping against hope here, people. I think it was 300 shells I need, and I can get that if I do a full clear of this floor and the next. It's just the keys at this point. Potentially the forge could sell one or two keys, but then it just becomes an issue of the money. So we'll see. And of course, yes, I have to do this room. There's literally no other way to go. Right, it's actually not that bad. Oh, this is bad. Ooh, that was so close. And once again, saved by slower enemy bullets. Because if that bullet was traveling at normal speed, I definitely would have walked into it. Oh, still a summoner. Space turtle's gonna get, yeah. <laughs> oh, shall fall before a space turtle. Oh, shall fall. Also, give me gunzukis. What are you, chicken? Okay, it's been so long since I've had a king room. Also, we got a lot of money there. 
without taking damage. I'll, I'll wager that. Do I want to use this gun for it or something else? I think stepping up to Shade's Revolver for this is actually better. Now, a room like this, this is worth using a blank on because you're going to get something out of it. You could also just let Space Turtle do everything. Gotcha. Alright, that was actually very easy. We'll go back to our crappy wind-up gun because I like it. And we'll get a reward for a manservantees. Oh, the Winchester! Very acceptable. More than acceptable, actually. Good for floor 5, I would say. I, I should still, you know, go from worst to best. And I would say wind-up gun is probably the worst right now. I don't mean it, wind-up gun. You're good on the early floors. And I like that you're a Futurama reference. Beep, 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 beep. Who are you still shooting at? This should lead to our other right room. One more room first, yeah. Ooh, dear. Oh, there's a... I don't know why that didn't hit me. It looked like it shoved right off me. An extra blank is very handy. Dog ain't barking at it, so it's not a mimic. Just check it just in case. Uh, M1... No, SAA. Also very good. Low clip, but very good. I was hoping the secret room would have keys in it. Oh! This is good. This it actually could be a thing that happens, and that's terrifying to me. The boss must be pretty close over here because we've now found everything we need. Maybe even right here? Yeah, okay. Well, our boss weapon is still the stinger. Even if it is the goddamn high priest, let's do it. It probably is based on orientation. No, no, it's not. It's kill pillars. Is stinger the best bet for kill pillars? Yes, because it takes away the pillars. <laughs> oh no! I, I hate when that happens. I've rolled sideways rather than into the attack. Uh, there goes my flawless streak. Also, the first bit of red damage, red heart damage we've taken on this run entirely. Yeah, it's a doom fight. <laughs> I don't like that you robbed me of my flawless. And keep in mind, it was only. Well, never mind. I was going to say the curse, but that was a second hit. Much as I'd like to pretend I did it on purpose so the curse wasn't real, no, it is the curse. Oh, if you get that point of explosion exactly right, he doesn't attack at all. Key, please. At least one key, ideally two. He dropped two keys. I, I think if I get 20 shells on the next floor, we can do it. We also got an average room clearer for the final floor. Is there anything else I can do? I don't think so. I think this might actually happen. I think it's 300 shells, six keys. So we only need to stay alive long enough to do that, and screw getting Gunzukis, we've just done something a lot better. What were you needing again? It is! Oh, we can actually do this! Holy shit! I was expecting it to only happen on a clone run, but out of nowhere. We just need to get 20 shells before I die, and I don't think I'm dying on this run, so it's gonna happen. It's a shame because, you know, we could have bought something truly amazing out of the forge. Ammo for Stinger? How's the Stinger doing? Yeah. The Stinger at max capacity is pr pretty much enough to handle Dragon, I think. First form, anyway. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We actually have quite a bit of curse built up, so if anything is going to do me in, maybe like running into a cursed dragon, that would do it. Oh, where did you appear from? Don't get cocky, kid. Get the 20 shells and then get cocky. That's the wrong gun, Zuki. How dare you? Wait a minute. The red gun, Zukis, are called 
Gun Zokis or something like that. They have a different name in the Amunomicon, but that just proved that they do actually count for the challenge. So, good? Oh no. Oh sorry, rooms like this as well. They ruin your runs. Although with the slower enemy bullets, it's kind of working out. Is that enough? <laughs> I think I got the, the guy who steals bullets. A jammed gun knight is a dangerous thing indeed. Keep in mind those dark red shots do one full heart of damage. And again, indicative of having a lot of curse. You want to deal with those giant skeletons easy? Treat the game like a cover base shooter. Coin crown unlocked. Biggest wallet. Hang on. Biggest wallet is for carry a large amount of money at once. So you unlock that coin crown plus that achievement if you have over 300 shells, I guess. I, I can't believe it's happening. We're actually doing this on a run that just came out of nowhere. Thanks to Avarice and an unusually large number of key drops. By now you know the drill, there's a couple speciality pieces I need to shield the mechanism. Can you bring me I can bring you that right now. Yes, take it. To finish off the job, I need a powerful artifact from Chamber 4. I need, a I need strong magic from Chamber 4. Strong magic from Chamber 4. Does he mean the bit that you needed to build the bullet? Like the... Um, which part was it that was in floor 4? It wasn't the, the gunpowder, because that was in the mines. It was the bit where you need to fly over the cave, right? That room stopped appearing after I got the bullet bit. Maybe it will start appearing again now. I don't know. Either way, it, it sounds less annoying than 300 shells and 6 keys. Uh, Winchester, because I like it and I want to use it before we end. Although, Winchester against Dragon might be better. Second form, I'm meaning. Not sure. Either way, he don't he does actually still need something else, which is just a pain in the arse, to be honest. The twenty five hegemony credits is nothing. I've got like two hundred. A magic thing from floor four. It's also possible that just something new has appeared on floor four. I don't think that actually would have made a difference, but no, no. Super Space Turtle, get right on in there. Get right up their asses and shoot them. Hello, Death. You gonna start off now? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. So keep in mind, even though we have no keys because we gave them to the Elevator Man, it doesn't matter. We can still open any chest we find. This run... It doesn't have the armory required for Bullet Hell, and I think I just kind of want to cash in my astonishing luck <laughs> and not bother because I've had a lot of fun with this run thanks to all the passives and I feel like getting my ass kicked on bullet hell as a result of not having any guns would sour it slightly and I want to end on a high note because this run has been incredible I guess I can buy some armor at the end if I need it sure why not the annoying thing, actually, would be if I managed to flawless dragon, because that would mean I almost flawless every boss. And it was just those two hits on kill pillars that ruined it. Which would be a shame. If I'd gotten a different boss other than kill pillars, would that have gone better? I don't... Uh, maybe. If it was the high priest, almost certainly not. But the wall? I'd have to have used my blanks, but that's what they're there for. That's the first bit of red heart damage I've taken not on a boss this entire run. I think the wall plus the damage we had, the wall has low HP for a boss, so the wall would have been the, the easiest quote-unquote option. God, the Winchester is satisfying. <laughs> no, it's no regular shotgun, don't get me wrong. It's, it might even be better than regular shotgun, but I find it less amusing. 
It's got low spread, which is great. It's got fantastic range, considering it's a shotgun as well. Right, I need to get in there at him. That's going to be difficult. There we go. Get rid of the problem. So we do have a right room. Again, we can open it. Unless it's Mimic. <laughs> we managed to actually get a spare key in the end. RPG is just the worst stinger, so it's fine if I run out of stinger ammo, I guess. Once the Winchester is out, we'll either use Shade's Revolver or the SAA. I think the SAA is better because it bounces slightly from memory. But bullet damage is probably the same, more or less. They're roughly the same size anyway, so that's what I'm basing that on. Do I need that for Stinger? I got Stinger ammo, didn't I? Yeah. Um, I think we'll just... The Voikor is probably the smarter option, actually. Yeah. I was going to say we'll just fill up the Winchester, but, you know, the Winchester's had his day. Or her day. I didn't just assume the gun's gender, I promise. I mean, I kind of did, but, whoops. I'd say the Void Core is pretty dependable as well, thanks to the burst fire. Not that keen on it, though. Anymore. I think I remember liking it early on. That's also because it was pretty common prior to expanding the drop kill. I'm pretty much ready for a dragon if the game wanted to just provide me with it. A jetpack. Well, it's better than what I was using. You haven't seen the jetpack, it gives you flying. Perhaps, obviously. At the price of not being able to dodge roll, which does have negatives. Case in point, really. But it makes rooms, particularly on this floor, certain rooms, like, passably easy. It also makes you faster. Hey, there's Dragon. Don't need the jetpack for Dragon, sadly, so that was actually a waste of a pickup. Stinger, is there any red hearts to pick up that I didn't get earlier? I could buy a bit of armor, like I said, so sure, why not? Just in case. We don't want something, a run that's going so well, crap out at the last second. Watch it be a cursed dragon. It is not. I think that might be among the fastest I've seen his HP drop without a, a black quality gun. I love that Space Turtle just goes to town on him. He doesn't give a shit about the bullets. If I do it, I'm invincible. You little bitch, you won't. He's almost a second form. I should have tried to jump through the middle of that. That was sloppy. I was just going to say, he's about to be second form, so it's irrelevant he's doing the knife attack. Look, he doesn't even care that he's invincible during the session. It's like, screw it, I'm shooting the dragon. Dodge roll, dodge roll. We'll probably have to do this at least twice. Ooh, it's going to be real close because the bees are going to kill themselves without doing damage during this section. Real close in terms of doing it in two, I mean. Not real close in terms of me winning. That's a given at this point. But I guess next time we'll look more into what Elevator Man wants. Oh, two was enough. But we're going to go see what Frightful Challenge unlocks. And what his next target is as well. Oh, son of a bitch, I did flawless it. So I only didn't flawless kill pillars wasn't paying attention to that. That was almost a perfect run. 
which I've never done as far as I'm aware. But we had so many good passives that it's, it would have been hard, and a good boss weapon, it would have been hard not to be. I enjoyed myself this run. Now let's go see what we unlock. Go, 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 go. And I'll have to try and remember next time I'm recording, floor four, look to see if there's any new rooms or anything. Nope, I didn't do it enough. I didn't, I do That's almost perfect timing for Maya's lunch as well. I'm my own lunch. I wonder if I was getting hungry. <laughs> I was caught up entirely in that run. That was just fun. Yes, come on, go. So we got the coin crown. Yeah, Stinger plus all this passive carried that. And obviously the avarice from the case is what got us the elevator man's most tedious challenge. 300 shells and 6 keys. Not necessarily going to be playing as robot next time, but sure, why not? We'll hand it in as robot. So we got the snake maker. That's the gun from Rick and Morty, right? Where Rick pretends it turns people into snakes, but really they just come out his leg. Shamblers, did he say? Shambling rounds. Shambling grounds are the zombie ones, I think. We can actually like quickly check that, I suppose. I I'm almost certain that it's the... Maybe it's them? No, they're skullets. Is it them? No, they're spent. Shambling rounds. Can I use the arrow keys here? Yes, I can. Alright, that's easier. Skullet. Ashen. Mutant. Veteran. Blue. None of them. Hollow points. Oh, there. It is a zombie. I was just looking at the wrong thing. I was reading empty chamber. Or did it say... I've already forgotten what he said. Was it hollow point? If it was hollow point, it's ghosts. If it was... Spent, it's zombies. Let's go back in and ask him. Hollow points or ghosts? If it said hollow point. I probably shouldn't have made that jump. Shambling. I think I didn't read the right thing twice in a row. I will look and I will properly look through the Amonomicon in a second. Actually, no, I want to do it on camera now. I have to. I have to because I definitely didn't read the right thing twice. Shambling, 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 shambling. That is not shambling. That is not shambling. Shambling. No. Shambling. Shambling. Say it with me. Shambling. Nope. 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 Where is that? No, it's not them. Oh! It's them? Wait, did that say like it is? Shambling round. It's, it's the towers in floor 3 or floor 2 onwards. 30 of them is going to take a long time because you basically only run into 2 or 3 at most per run. Alright, that's good to know. I hope you enjoyed. This was one of my best runs ever. Frankly. We still have to work out what's up with Elevator Man on floor 4. But we'll hopefully learn that next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And ta-ta for now.